Bill Maru, Toy Canics. What's going on, Crew Maru and Toy Canic fans? Today I'm bringing you another thigh mod uh, tutorial. I just ran out of breath. Today I'm going to be bringing you a new tutorial on a McFarlane figure. Uh, this one is a little different it looks like. This is the Damian Wayne figure and I noticed right off the bat that he's different. Uh, the way you pop off the legs is simply grab them and twist. <laughs> this is wild. This is a ball, basically ball pegs. Um, this is new. They're not drop down hips so they don't move. Um, and you can just pop these off, real simple. Generally, um, like any other figure, like here's a red hood nearby, generally you would have to take a flathead screwdriver and go in like so, and then pop these off. Um, but not with Damien, Damien is a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is we're going to heat these up, we're gonna pop out these pegs, and we're gonna see if this works the same way as any of the other ones. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe cutting it right here along this line. I believe that would work. Um, from what I could tell, this is where it would cut. I think that would be pretty good. So we're gonna try that. So what we're gonna do first, like I said, is heat these up, pop out the pegs, and then we'll make our cuts. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that these are gonna be definitely different. Um, trying to see just how different these things are. Oh yeah, look at that. These are definitely uh, different than the other ones. I haven't seen them like this before. Caused a little damage right there, but that's not a problem. Like I said, I've I've caused damage on tons of these pegs before and it doesn't affect the movement at all. But while we've got this heated up, let's make our cut. Um, let's see what we got going on here. This, uh, so this goes down pretty flush. And what I'm hoping is that we can cut below this and it still worked. That looks like a pretty thin lip. Um, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna go for it. And uh, hopefully this doesn't mess up my figure. I'm gonna cut right along this line here. Cause I think that would look nice. It gives us kind of a guide. It won't break up our sculpt too bad. Quite a gap, but I think it'll be all right. Pop that in. And we should just be able to pop this back on. ourselves a thigh swivel yeah that worked out really well actually cool well that was a fun experiment to do live now let's just pop this out and do the same thing it looks like we're gonna have to get all the way under this one there we go and just like with the first one this one's a little more dinged up but it's not gonna matter all we gotta do is get rid of this little excess pieces. Just make sure that outer edge is smooth. And I've said this before, if you need to, you can bring out your Dremel. It ain't no big deal. Then these little pieces off here. Just kind of shave down any of that junk that might have gotten damaged. You're never gonna see this peg again. So, this is also still very soft because it's a smaller, thinner plastic, 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did a minute ago. We're gonna cut right along the edge of this line right here. This is great. Let's get everything out of the way here. We're gonna use this line right there. We're just gonna cut straight across, straight down. And it looks so like there's nothing there. Look at that. Like there's, this is a crazy thin cut. I'm not gonna lie, when I first cut it, I was like, well, I messed that up. Um, you know, which is part of the process. Sometimes that happens. Pop this piece on. Maybe get it in there. Gives you something to kind of push into. Yeah, and now you've got Robin with thigh swivels. That's literally all it took. I uh, wish she only had double knees and double elbows, but that's a mod for another day. And I guess we could see we can pop off the head real quick and what we can do while we've got him here if uh, you guys haven't caught one of these before um, this is a quick little how to give him a little extra range in his neck you want to find a drill bit that's about the same size as the peg here not the ball the peg inside uh, you don't want it to be the size of the ball. You want it to be the size of the peg. Sorry, I just got to repeat that. And so what you do is you go in at an angle. In the back and in the front. You don't want to go too crazy with it. You can kind of cut yourself a little slit there. You can sometimes cut a little divot in the front, and that helps too. And let's try to get rid of some of this junk. Razor blade, get rid of this excess plastic that seems to be wanting to hang around here. Generally, I'll just run my uh, like Dremel around it. You can even sometimes take like a small little little scoop out right there. That always helps. Gives the neck peg a little room to play. It's usually easier to do in the back because you can't see as much back we'll take our head we'll pop it back on I hadn't actually planned on doing that during this video but I decided let's do it and now you can look way down and pretty far up too down up retains articulation Get your thigh swivels and now Robin's just a bit more equipped to be fighting crime with the crepe Kate Crusader the Crep Crusade there. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something today, especially how to speak correctly. Um, enjoy this. Do it yourself. This was actually one of the easier ones, I guess. Um, just be very, very careful with your razor blades and uh, take your time. Be smart. Be safe. Take care out there and I'll keep repairing. Bill Maru, Toy Canics.